Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna rehouse this beauty, the Brachypelma classy. Um, I believe their common name is the Mexican pink leg. I'm not 100% done that, so. Um, but yeah, the Brachypelma classy, as you can see, she can use an enclosure upgrade. Now, this, let me put on the lid real fast before she decides to walk out. This is the new setup I got for her. So, I think she will like it in here. Should be good. As with the previous rehouse, yes, this top is twice as big as the one she had. Here's the setup. So, uh, let's see if she will go in easy. Always exciting. I know you guys <laughs> probably would like to see a little bit more excitement than the little real easy rehouses but um we'll see how it goes Ooh, come on go um, now i got both my birds on my head as well <laughs> okay maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to let them out of the cage before i did this Come on, go. All right. Oh, again, real easy rehouse. Um, you know what? I think I will rehouse another tarantula just because it's you know it's gonna be real short. If I don't, <laughs> and I got some more that need a rehouse. So here she is in the new enclosure, plenty big. Um, okay, so hold on, I'm gonna ready another enclosure and we'll rehouse another trench though. One moment. Okay, so I've decided we'll do two more rehouses for this video. And the first one is gonna be this one. This is the smallest of my two, La Ciedor Para Habana. And uh, it's getting bigger, so. Time for an upgrade. And this is the enclosure I prepared for her or him. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, kind of basic, but you know, um, gives him more room to wander around, I guess. But it can hide under the leaves. It's got a water bowl. There's a more fake plants. Um, so let's see how he feels about it. Come on. Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to leave his house. Um, which is, of course, okay, but I really want him. So now you guys see not all my rehouses are easy. Some of them are just stubborn. Um, I'm just waiting for the moment in which it decides it's going to run instead of hunker down. But luckily that's not coming. Okay, so he's in. Get down. Of course he's gonna hide and it'll leave immediately but um yeah you're not gonna see it okay um he's in there anyways um next one and the next one is gonna be this brachypil mahamori um also grown quite a bit looking pretty so this is the enclosure i read it for it Kind of, again, a simple setup, just a place to hide, water bowl, some fake plants. But um, let's see what, if this one want to go a little bit easier. Well, less stubborn, let's put it that way. Uh, 
Ooh, flicking here, that's okay. So far in all my years of keeping tarantulas, I've never been too bothered by the eradicating hairs. So that's lucky, I guess. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Go on. Come on. Come on. Don't be so shy. <laughs> All right, so he's in. Let's see if it will go down a bit. Nope, it's gonna stay right there. Anyways, here he is. Um. Okay, one moment. Okay, I just wanted to add this girl quickly to the video. Uh, she's uh, molted about a week ago. And she's finally starting to look like a real Lasciador Parnabana. So let's see if she's willing to eat. Oh, that's a yes. Awesome. Nice. So yeah, she's really growing. And I didn't even know she was in, uh, in Primal. And then all of a sudden I thought, what's she big? And uh, I found out she molded. Um, okay, we're going to edit at this. Thank you so much for watching um, and stay tuned for the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I upload my next video, uh, which will be the unboxing. So um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.